Okay, good evening YouTube, uh, Practical Prepper here. Uh, it's one of my first old vi uh, older videos, say older videos, I've only been doing this a couple of months really, was about my fireman's axe that I picked up at a boot fair for approximately £5, I think it was. I love me fines, as I, as I even said on there. Uh, I changed it a little bit, made this sheath, uh, uh, put the handle because it's a fuel rod. This is a 1940s, 1950s uh, fireman's axe. On there it says it's uh, insulated over 2,000 watts. Uh, but I couldn't find the sheath for it or nothing like that. So I had to make my own sheath. Uh, my sheath making skills are not exactly what you would call fantastic, but I made this sheath. I'd all but given up on finding a sheath for this because they are pretty rare. I was at work today and one thing or another things got a bit quiet so I thought I'd have a tidy up and someone had dumped a load of rubbish off, uh, outside our place so I thought I'd have a tidy up, tidy up and one of the bags split open and what was in one of the bags? Would you believe a sheath for my axe? I could not Adam and Eve it, I really could not. I found a sheath for my axe. Fair enough, it does not it all. Look, it is sharp. <laughs> Blood on YouTube. Uh, actually, I found two, which is pretty lucky because I just broke one. Yeah, a sheath for my axe. Uh, just broke one of the press studs off it, but, or have I? No, I haven't, yes I have. But I can fix that. Couldn't believe it, it's, yeah, as I, as I said, look, look, it's definitely sharp. <laughs> it's been a while sharpening though. It needs a bit of a cleaning up. I, as I said uh, earlier as well, I found two of them. So once it's all been cleaned up and all sorted out, I shall show a little bit more. But I just could not believe my luck. Been looking around for absolute ages. Now what I need is Sergeant Fruitcake for me bleeding. Bleeding thumb now, look. It's all for you lot to show you about me blooming. Done that. Right, see you later. Have fun.